Hello uh, everyone. I'm um, um, Pakom from Atelier Cartographique. Atelier Cartographique is a Brussels-based organization uh, uh, and we are here uh, today. It's uh, with uh, Sophie Boiron, pierre Hugues Bart and Pierre Marchand. Uh, we are here to present uh, WAND. WAND is a web application to create, design and publish map online. Uh, we will make our presentation directly on WAND so you can uh, watch it uh, being used. Um, we will start by presenting some projects we have been uh, involved in so far to give an idea about the context in which WAND has been built. Uh, yeah, we think it, it's important to, to present a bit around to not get uh, uh, directly in, uh, in the technical details. Um, so here you can see some geographic uh, uh, shapes. It's, it's here, basically. Maybe some of you uh, recognize it. And um, I will... Um, yeah, we will just arrive. Okay, I will... I will start with uh, to talk about Buratinas. It's, uh, Buratinas is a, is a solar parade boat used by uh, Nadine. It's a Belgian organization I'm also working with. And, uh, and we use Buratinas as a tool to discover the Belgian territory. It's, uh, it's a nice way to see the landscape from the, from the water point of view. And it's, uh, it, yeah, it's solar parade, so it's, it's very slow. It goes like five kilometers per hour. So you have time to watch around. And uh, to present the documentation of this project, we, we built a cartographic website, which has the particularity to, to embed directly the images in the map. So it means that when you, when you zoom in, you can really get a, a closer look to what's happened. It's not only a point or a pin on a map that opens a pop-up. Um, another project, which is the very first iteration of, of this principle, uh, has been developed for a, a Belgian artist. Uh, she, she was dr making drawings in a tram 81 in Brussels every day for, for a long period of time and she needed something to, to, to present uh, her work. Uh, another project involving uh, territories, mapping and things like that, it's called Default. It's also organized by Nadine. And the idea is to follow the fold of maps uh, by bike with a group of artists. It takes basically one month and, uh, and we try to follow the fold. Last summer we went through Ireland. Uh, yeah, it's also about slow mobility and things like that. Around default, some mapping uh, related objects have been produced. Like here you can see a very long paper map. Uh, it's 18 meters long. It was from uh, north of, of Poland to Croatia. And it gives us, it tells the corridor we have to follow, basically. The drawing here has been made afterwards from, uh, by an artist from memory, so it, it's more subjective. And here you can see some uh, um, uh, yeah, also very subjective navigation tools. And here with the elastics, it, it tells where to not turn. It's, uh, it happened that it was uh, handy to use. And, uh, and the last project I will talk about, it's, uh, <coughs> it's uh, yeah, we made it for, for University in Brussels, in uh, Tournai. Uh, architect student has been uh, working on the city, on the city of Mons, and they took like 1,600 pictures of uh, doors on the city. So we took the old-fashioned maps, way of doing maps when you unfold facades from the building along the way to present everything, but also the people from the city were involved in the project and they will be part of the exhibition, so we thought yeah, it's not nice for them if they have their house upside down. So yeah, finally, we, uh, Pierre uh, redeveloped everything with Open Layer 3 to, to make the rotation so everything could rotate in, in, in any direction. <laughs> and it was nice to see a map with a, a wrong north sometimes. So. Okay, so that's just to give an idea where we are. Yes, and maybe to continue to give an idea outside of WAND, uh, most of the time. Um, these are projects we, we've been doing for a few years, sometimes with Pierre, sometimes with Nicola in the, in the room and, and others. And it's maybe to, to try to, to tackle five issues. There is others, but uh, that 
to, we try to keep in mind by developing WAND. Yes, the question of scale. <laughs> but in WAND, the scale uh, is quite present. By example, you define the scale of a text in absolute, so in meters. Here it's 60 meters high. And um, we, we've been <laughs> developing uh, um, a long time ago uh, a map of Africa that, uh, for an exhibition. And it was also the question of scale. It's seven meters there on the, on the floor. But uh, so it's possible to see the, the shape of the, of the cities. Um, that's really obvious. Another quite obvious question is the time. Uh, the time in historical maps, very classical maps, that they are for uh, the Citadel de Namur. Uh, but uh, there you can see, if you know a bit, the Belgium coast, that the coast uh, four centuries ago uh, was not exactly the same. Uh, and if we think about time, it's also the way um, we represent data, digital data that change uh, in time, and it's currently not. Uh, present in one, but uh, I think it will be quite uh, exciting as a as a, a challenge to um, to handle. Another thing quite related is the symbology. Like sometimes it's called in in uh, cartography, so it's mainly the design, let's say. And um, maybe one way we like to use to think that is uh, to s look closely how old maps um, were doing, so that were done. The, these are the same place in, in Brussels. That's a very classical uh, map of the 60s. And this is a map that tried to mimic um, the same symbology, but with a lot of differences and to analyze these differences. Um, maybe Yes, if we look even more closely uh, in the text uh, that uh, are uh, present in, in the maps, uh, we can see that, of course, there is a lot of competition in maps for the space. And um, it's currently quite difficult for digital platform to, to handle these, uh, to, to avoid collisions. So most of the platform decide to avoid collisions or to go far into collision, but an in-between situation could be quite interesting as it's not yet, seems not yet uh, possible digitally, so it's uh, another challenge. And maybe another one could be um, the question of the, um, let's say, topography, uh, because want is a, um, uh, um, it's a place, it's a platform where everything that you place is georeferenced. It seems that the topography uh, is obvious, and uh, when we do workshops with, um, you can maybe switch to the other one. Uh, <laughs> when, yes, when we do workshop with uh, children, by example, the the way. Uh, memories or practice di distort the the reality uh, it could be quite interested to it's possible to do the reverse to distort a drawing to fit with a, a map a topographic map but the reverse to distort uh, digital data topographic data to fit with the drawing seems currently still uh, quite uh, difficult so this is a little catalog of and a show of visual of uh, issue that, uh, but we are, there is a lot of others and we are quite uh, excited if you have other ones to, to discuss with. <coughs> okay, <laughs> five minutes. Uh, uh, so five minutes is, is definitely too short for what I've prepared. So, uh, it was boring, actually. Compared to what you've seen now, it, it was just to explain to you how the platform works, how it has been built, and the, 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 the data model we've got, and et cetera, et cetera. It was a counterpart of the rant I wrote um, a bit earlier that was not uh, appropriate for this presentation, so I'm a bit lost now. So basically, the, uh, how it works on the platform is that uh, you've got uh, users that are able to create maps, and these maps are all hosting layers, and these layers host features. And these features are um, 
like featured with a, a geographic data that um, allows us to display them on a map well. So it's, 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 it's way more complicated than that. So I would try to, to, to show things that, that, that might be interesting. So the, the, the best thing is that it started as uh, just um, manipulation of this data uh, through kind of a shell. And we, we, we kept this organization, so meaning that everything is written to manipulate this data and the visualization arrives last. And you can still uh, do a lot um, of um, design, in fact, by just writing things uh, at the bottom of the screen like this, this little line. And everything is, okay, the, the, the rationale for this is to make it possible to have a platform where you can write like tiny piece, pieces of code that are able to do things and to be welcoming for new commands, new small programs to manipulate all this data and to, to, to promote uh, experimentation with the platform. So I would try to, to present something else that is really interesting for me. It's, it, it's the rendering of the, the, this geographic data. So the, the mark is, doesn't work really. And uh, it's made of like layers and these layers are just overlaid uh, one of each, uh, on top of each other. And each layer is rendered by its uh, own rendering engine. Actually, f often it's just the default one, but the, the interesting part is that you can replug your own rendering engine. It's, I wouldn't say it's easy to write, but you can take the default one, tweak it a bit, and change things here and there. And it's, it's also a way for us to, to not prevent users to, 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 to do what they want to do with the platform. So uh, something else, the, 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 I'm trying to go too fast, uh, the, the collaborative uh, aspect of the platform. So uh, nodes on these three are uh, authored by a user and everything is, uh, is under his uh, uh, responsibility. There's just one thing that is a bit specific is that the connection between the map and the layer is something else, and the permissions are a bit different, meaning that uh, to make it simple, you can connect a layer to a map if you're the owner or the author of the, the layer, and if the map is public, actually. So it means that it, it, it doesn't work exactly as a wiki in the sense that you can't edit what has been edited by someone else, but you can overlay your own layer on someone else's map, like to to add something or to to say something about the same space or to just like bother people or just to help. It's your decision, and we it's a, it's an important aspect of, of the platform besides design, in the sense that we didn't um, manage yet to decide what's the good balance between trying to help people to collaborate and give them control and let them give away some control to other people? This is a lot of questions. And <laughs> last thing, it's, uh, I'm really confused now. Um, this is the, the platform itself. Because the, there's a lot of geographic data that is expected to, to land on the platform, and this data is usually quite sensitive. There's the, the, the question uh, of who is going to operate the platform and the, the trust, we, well, we, if, even we actually, we can have in the, 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 the people or the organization operating the platform. So there's also this question of uh, how are we going to, to widen the, the organization, ruin the, the, the project and to find the well, what, what we thought for the moment was super simple to, to have a non-profit organization where every member, no, every user of the platform would be a voting member of this organization and so would be part of the decision-making process. It's a bit short. <coughs> and we're, we're really in the middle of uh, thinking of it. So I, uh, maybe I'm... 
<laughs> or beyond the five minutes now. I'm, I'm really sorry.